You are watching The Daily Decrypt. I'm your host, Amanda, and today's episode is brought to you by The Merkle. The Daily Decrypt has decided to partner up with the cool folks at Crypto Compare to begin offering you some handy mining guides, starting with Ethereum on Windows. I'll take you through the six steps you need, which are getting Geth, running Geth, activating Geth, and then getting ETH miner, configuring ETH miner, and beginning to mine. Let's get started. Step one, install Geth. Geth is the name of the program that lets your computer talk to the rest of the Ethereum network, and the download for it is linked in the description below. After you've downloaded it, unzip it, and we'll want to move it to your hard drive folder, which in most cases is C. To move the file, simply copy it and move it into your C folder manually. Step two, run Geth. Using your Windows search tool, type in the letters CMD. You'll see Command Prompt populate in this list and click on it. It will open on your screen, and if you've never used it before, you'll know you've done it right because it's a slightly unattractive and mostly blank window. Type CD space forward slash into this command prompt and press enter. If you see capital C colon backslash, you'll know you did it right. Now type geth space account space new, press enter, and you will have created your new Geth account. You'll then be asked to choose a password for your Geth account, which you won't be able to see as you type it in, so take care to do it accurately. This password gives access to any ether that you mine, so guard it as you would your money. Step three, activate Geth. Now it's time to tell your Geth program to start talking to other nodes just like you on the Ethereum network. Type geth space dash dash RPC into your command prompt and press enter. You'll now see the Ethereum blockchain begin to download. If this flags your Windows firewall or other firewall, you can tell it to simply allow. Sponsored shout out from Core, which is an asset token that lives on the NXT blockchain. Core's value is currently invested in Bitcoin, gold, silver, various cryptocurrencies, and other NXT based assets as well. The core team reports that their token will begin paying Bitcoin dividends to its holders on February 1st of this year. And you can learn more at coremedia.info. Step four, get ETHminer. Now it's time to download your mining program, ETHminer. The link to download ETHminer is also in the description and take note that the most recent version of it is always at the bottom of the list. After you've downloaded the most recent version, click to install it. Again, if this flags your firewall, you can choose to allow it and then follow through the installation wizard to finish the process. Step five, configure ETHminer. This is the longest step, but I know you can do it. It's time to open a second instance of your command prompt. So you'll have two of those boxes side by side. Do this by right clicking the icon in your taskbar of the command prompt that you already have open. When you right click, a menu will pop up and you should select the aptly named option command prompt. Once again, type cd space forward slash in this new window and press enter. Then type cd space prog and press the tab key. You'll see that the computer auto populates this line with the best fit from your particular file structure, most likely populating it with CD program files. You can now press enter. Now type CD space ETH and press tab. And you'll see something similar to this, which will differ slightly depending on what version is the latest when you watch this video. Almost finished with this step. Now type CD space release and press enter. You'll see something like this, and now it's time to get started with mining with slightly different instructions depending on whether you're using a CPU or GPU. And step six, start mining. If you'll be mining via your GPU, type ethminer space dash capital G into your command prompt and press enter. What's called a DAG file will automatically begin building itself, which currently takes about 10 minutes. And once it's finished, your geth will open and begin mining. If your computer notifies you that your GPU doesn't have enough space, you can cancel the process by holding down Ctrl and C at the same time and move to the next step to try mining with your CPU instead. And for you CPU miners, enter ethminer into your command prompt and press enter. Wait for that DAG file to build and Geth will automatically open and begin mining Ethereum for you as well. And now you are mining Ethereum. Well done. 
for some suggestions on how to determine whether CPU or GPU mining is more profitable for you, check out CryptoCompare's text-based version of this same tutorial. Today's episode has been brought to you by The Merkle, a news site for cryptocurrency whose motto is, in blockchain we trust. In addition to news, The Merkle also features handy tutorials like how to get bitcoins in under an hour, how to secure your bitcoins, even how to create your own cryptocurrency. You can find these offerings and more at themerkle.com. You can find our podcast at the LTB Network and have fun mining magic internet money. Oh.